It's 6 o'clock. At this time, I'll call the regular council meeting period to City Council for Tuesday, March 6, 2018. Board, please. We have a form. Item 3 is the invitation and the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag. If you are able, please rise. I'd like to call on Councilman and Reverend Willie King with Faith and Bible Fellowship for the invitation. I'm going to invite you to speak. Father God, we thank you so much for this opportunity that we've done together. Thank you for Councilman and staff. I pray, Lord, that we move to the part of that. You continue to give us wisdom as we reach out to our community to enhance our community and the strategy that we got set for our pay down. As we move forward, that the blessing will be there, and we encourage and motivate all our people. And we just want to thank you for for the work, for the safety, and everything that we do here in the city of Denver. We thank you, and we praise you. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I call Mayor Pro Temple Randall Walker to lead us in the pledge of allegiance to the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible. The liberty and justice for all. Thank you, gentlemen. <coughs> <coughs> Item four, the recognitions and presentations. 4A is the introduction of Chris Kemp, a building inspector. Mr. Wood. Mayor and Council, I'm pleased to present and, and uh, Provide you with uh, <laughs> 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 the introduce you to Chris Kemp, who is our new building inspector. He's been with the city for a month now, as of today. Um, he is a native of, of Perry and has been married and has four kids. Um, he's uh, involved in the Perry Players Theater. Mm -hmm. um, He's a Georgia licensed master electrician. Uh, he's been that for 20 years. And he's been involved in all facets of construction and maintenance uh, industry. He has a long family history in Perry uh, that goes back in the 1800s. Um, and he enjoys uh, teaching percussion at Ennis uh, Music Studio. And he's the current president of the Perry Players Community Theater. And he's excited to be here. He's doing a great job. Uh, so far, we've had him doing a lot of administrative uh, work in the office. Uh, getting to know how that works. He's been out on inspections for Ben Bass, and he's getting ready to do an out on his own. So, uh, pleased to introduce Chris Kim. Yeah, you have anything to say? I'm just really excited. Uh, um, uh, like I said, Kim is from Perry, and uh, we moved here from Warner Robins in 2012 with my family, and um, uh, I've been working for the Middle Georgia State University for the past eight years, and I'm uh, just excited to come to, uh, to my home city and, and uh, contribute and uh, be a part of what's going on. And We're glad to have you on our team. Thank, Thank you very, very much. much. Thank you very much for, for making that decision. Congratulations and welcome to the city of Pitt. Thank you very much. Well, we just introduction of new hires, and we've got quite a few of them. Chief Parker. Yes, sir. Come on up, fellas. <laughs> All right, Mayor and Council, I'd like to introduce to you tonight uh, five of our newest firefighters that we have in the department. Uh, these guys all started back in November. Uh, we haven't had a chance to get them up here to present them to you and the council yet, so we want to do that tonight. Um, I'll go, not necessarily in order here, but I'll, I'll call them out. have uh, Jonathan Smith. Jonathan, Jonathan is 27 years old. Uh, he comes to us from the Fort Valley Fire Department uh, and also Peach County uh, Fire Department. He has three years of experience. Um, let's see, he lives in uh, Warner Robins. They have three children, uh, <coughs> him and his girlfriend, uh, Five-year-old Jacob, three-year-old Jenna, and seven-month-old Julian. And he loves uh, fitness and spending time with his family, and he loves cats. <laughs> John, let's <laughs> Let me go. Uh, cats? Put my glasses on. <laughs> 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 right. Let me uh, move on here. <laughs> we also have Ken McDonald. Ken is 33 years old. Uh, he's uh, 
comes to us from the city of Sylvester, his, his last department, but also by way of the Cochrane uh, Blackman County Fire Department. He has six years of experience there. Uh, he's married to his wife, Mackenzie. They have two children, nine-year-old uh, Marley and uh, one-and-a-half-year-old Kinsley. And he loves spending time with his family, and he's an avid hunter. So Ken McDonald. And we also have David White. David is 22 years old. Um, he has been a volunteer firefighter for Pulaski County since 2016. And um, he's recently engaged to his fiancée, Anna. And they have no children, but he also loves to hunt and spend time outdoors. And uh, David and the other two I'll be mentioning to you will also be going to uh, the Georgia Public Safety Training Center starting next Monday. They, put, they start an eight-week course in basic firefighting there, so they are getting ready to go to training themselves. Then we have Robert Dollar here at the end. Uh, Robert is married. He has uh, two boys under the age of five, and they have another boy on the way. Congratulations. Um, his, his wife's name is Katie. They've been married for five years. Uh, Robert spent five years in the Marine Corps. Uh, he was from Georgia, and after he got off uh, active duty military, he's moved back now. And, um, and we're happy to have them here in Perry. And Robert will be attending training starting next week as well. And then lastly, we have uh, Daniel Sandoval. He's 27 year, years old. He was born in California, but he was raised here in Georgia with his family. Uh, he's married to his wife, Faith, uh, for five years. They have two children, a four-year-old daughter and a two-year-old son. And uh, we're also happy to have uh, David here with us, or Daniel as well. So uh, the three of them will be attending training starting next week, but the other two were certified already. But we're happy to have all five of them here working for us in the city of Gentlemen, y'all have anything to say? Just pleased to be here. Anybody else? Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the job. Yeah. Well, I want to take this uh, time to personally and on behalf of the mayor's office and the city council to thank you for making the decision to come work for the Perry Fire Department. I think you're going to find that it is excellent. Uh, we accept nothing less than that, but Chief Parker is an excellent leader. You're going to learn a lot, not only from him, but from your uh, fellow firefighters. And uh, you have won the department that exceeds in everything that it uh, attempts. And we try to make sure that y'all have all the toys that you need in order to get the job done uh, from, from that standpoint. But uh, again, thank you, congratulations, and welcome to the city of Pierre. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
Item five, community partner updates. Our Virginia community partners who wish to update us at this time. Mm -hmm. Six or citizens with input. Are there any citizens or members of the general public who wish to address council on any item at this time? Thank you. Item seven is the review of minutes. Item seven A council for your consideration. You have been provided minutes of the February 20th, 2018 free council meeting and the February 20th, 2018 council meeting. Council, at this time, I'm going to entertain a motion to approve these minutes as presented. So moved. The motion is second. Are there any additions, deletions, changes, or discussion regarding these minutes at this time? Hearing none, all those in favor, raise your hand. Motion carries unanimously. Thank you. Item 8 is old business. Item 8A is an alcohol license. Application for the second reading and adoption. Item 8A1 is the second reading council for an application for an alcohol license package to go beer and wine, consumed on the premises <coughs> beer and wine, for Bodega Brewery. Is that right? Close enough? Perfect. <laughs> At 1025 Ball Street, the manager's name is Miss Jody Daly. She Glenn. I think you covered it all, Mayor. The police parks reviewed it, signed off on it, and good to go. <clears throat> Thank you, sir. Council, do you have any questions about Chief, Chief Lander's staff concerning this application? Hearing none, at this time I want to entertain a motion that we adopt the application and alcohol license package to go and consume on the premises as described. So, so moved. Second. So, motion and a second. Any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor, raise your hand. Motion carries unanimously. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank when you. will you open? Yeah, soon. <laughs> <laughs> the standard answer. That's good. It's well, coming. Looking forward to it. Thank you. Looking forward to it. Thank you. Item 9, is any other old business? 9A, is any other old business from the mayor? I have none. 9B, is any other old business from council members? Ms. Bynum Grace? I have none. Mr. Jones? No. Mr. Walker? No. Mr. Hunt? No. Mr. Jackson? No. Yes, sir. Mr. King? No, sir. Thank you. Item 9C, is there any other old business from the city manager, Mr. Gilmore? No, sir. Thank you. Item 9D, is there any other old business from the assistant city manager, Mr. Smith? No, sir. Thank you. And item 9E, is there any other old business from the assistant city attorney, Mr. Holbrook? No, sir. Thank you. 10 is new business. 10A are matters that have been referred from the March 6, 2018 work session that we held last night and the March 6, 2018 council meeting that we held at 5 o'clock. Mr. Gilmore, is there anything come before us from either of these um, sessions? No, sir. Thank you. Item 10B are resolutions for consideration and adoption. 10B1 is a resolution authorizing the mayor and the city clerk to execute a supplemental lease and project fund agreement to provide financing for the purchase of fire apparatus. Ms. King. Yes, sir. Thank you, Mayor. Just as you said, those are the standard lease documents needed to participate and financing equipment through the GMA lease, pur lease purchase program. This is for the three um, fire units that are approved in the amount of $989,127. Thank you, Ms. King. Does any member of council have any questions regarding these, this item? Thank you, Ms. King. Council, at this time, I entertain a motion that we adopt a <coughs> resolution authorizing the mayor and city clerk to execute the supplemental lease and project fund agreement as described. So moved. There's a motion and a second. Any discussion? Hearing that all those in favor, raise your hand. Motion carries unanimously. Thank you. Item 10B2 is a resolution amending the city of Perry fee schedule. Mr. Gilmore. Thank you, Mayor. Mayor and Council, in your package, you have a resolution to proposes to amend the activation fee and also the construction meter replacement fee. Uh, per year direction, we periodically go back and review these fees. And it's, uh, these two cases are recommending reductions based on actual cost. I would recommend that you approve. Thank you, Mr. Gilmore. Does any member of council have any questions, Mr. Gilmore, regarding this item? Hearing none, 
this time I will entertain a motion that we adopt the resolution amending the city period fee schedule as described. Second. There's a motion in the second. Any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor, raise your hand. Very <coughs> unanimous. Thank you. Item 10C is the award of bids. 10C1 is bid number 2018 20 for a third street at Parkway Drive storm drainage and improvements. Mr. McMurray. Yes, thank you, Mayor Council. Uh, we have <coughs> advertised and received four bids for the third street at Parkway Drive stormwater improvements. Um, of those four bids, LeCain Enterprises was the low bidder at $64,314. Uh, Georgia Water Environmental Services and city staff has reviewed these and recommended the work of this bid. Thank you, Mr. McMurray. Does any member of council have any questions regarding this item? <clears throat> if not, at this time I'll entertain a motion that we award the bid based on the engineering department recommendations in the amount of $64,314 to locate Enterprises Incorporated as a low bidder. So, there's a motion, is there a second? Second. Motion and second, any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor, raise your hand. Motion carries unanimously. <coughs> Thank you, sir. Item 10C2 is bid number 2018-25 for a pursuit half ton full size pickup truck for public safety patrol. Chief Lee. Yes, sir, Mayor, Mayor and Council. Um, this is under the police department's vehicle replacement plan. Uh, this is the final vehicle purchase authorized in the current year's fiscal budget, current fiscal year budget. The, we recommend the low bidder, which is Brandon Motor Company of Unibill, with a bid of $37,070. Uh, local uh, dealer, Perry Ford, is within the 7% uh, local vendor preference if they choose to, to exercise that preference. Like to Chief, any member of council have any questions regarding this item? Hearing none, at this time I'll entertain a motion that we award the bid based on the department's recommendation in the amount of $37,070 to bring a motor company with the local vendor preference and should the next, uh, should the local vendor choose to exercise. The move will say. Motion and second. Any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor, raise your hand. Motion carries unanimously. Thank you. Item 10D is an alcohol license application, first reading and introduction. 10D1 is the first reading and application for an alcohol license package to go beer, wine, liquor for Peary Liquor LLC, located at 277 Parkway, Suite E and F. The manager's name is Mayne Patel. Council, this is the first reading, therefore no action is required at this time. Item 11 is other business in the supplemental agenda, 11A. Uh, our mayor council joint appointments for the Perry Area Convention and Visitors Bureau Authority at large appointments. Council, you have in your package <coughs> as soon as it loads. Technology is great as long as it works. recommendation from the Peer Chamber of Commerce to present two people for service on Peer Year Commitment Business Bureau Authority at large appointments by Mayor and Council. Mayor Michelle Lacey. She serves as the Chief Financial Officer of Council at Country Club and has the support of the owner, Mr. Bird, for serving the community in capacity. Mr. Mrs. Uh, Ms. Heather Kellen. She serves as Director of Human Resources for Brand Hospitality has the support of the co-owner, Mr. Amherst, to serve the community in this capacity. Council, if you are prepared, I will entertain a motion that we appoint these two ladies <coughs> for these at-large appointments as described. Second. Only one. Only one? Or two. One, two. Okay. So we need to pick one of these two? If you are ready. All right. <coughs> Council? May 
I'm asking for y'all to withdraw your motions. Yeah. Second and the first. Withdraw. Withdraw. Thank you, Your Honor. Now, counsel, I will ask um, for you to pick either Ms. Kelly or Ms. Lacey for an appointment to the Peer Gear Convention Judicial Bureau Authority at large. Thank you, Your motion. Make a motion that we nominate Ms. Kelly. Kelly. I second. There's a motion in the second for Ms. Kelly to be Mayor Council appointee. For period of Commission Pearson Bureau Authority at larger appointment. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor raise your hand. Most of you unanimous. Thank you. My apologies. <coughs> I don't want to give you that. Um, B is a proposal for services for Cambridge Drive and Forest Hill Avenue Basin's sewer <coughs> capacity evaluation project. So Mr. McMurray. Yes, thank you, Mayor Council. We have received a proposal from Georgia Water Environmental Services. This is to uh, do a study and design for the Cambridge area sewer capacities. Um, with future growth, we, uh, we want to address these, any concerns or issues with sewer capacity there. Um, the total for this proposal is $14,532. Uh, city staff recommends approval. Thank you, Mr. McMurray. Ms. Campbell, any questions regarding this item at this time? What's the funding source? This will be the response to the construction. Any other questions? Thank you, sir. Council, at this time I'll entertain a motion that we approve the proposal for services for the Cambridge Drive and Forest Hill Avenue Base Basin's sewer capacity evaluation project is described. So move second. There's a motion in the second. Any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor raise your hand. Motion carries unanimous. Thank you. Item 11C, we're being asked to approve a change order for sewer point repair project. <coughs> Mr. Murray. Yes, thank you, Mayor Council. <coughs> um, our sewer point repair project uh, is being con conducted by Renee Group. Uh, since this project started, we've identified 13 items that are needed of repair. Uh, city staff and ESG operations has reviewed these items and recommend approval of a change order to repair these locations. Uh, total of this change order would be $47,700. Thank you, Mr. McMurray. Mr. Gilmore, what's the funding source? This also will be sponsored by the construction. Thank you. Mr. McMurray, this was a result of a smoke test that was done by this group and then followed up by camera, an actual camera view. Is that correct? Yes, that's correct. The original. Uh, Scope of work was smoke testing, and then after smoke testing, following the camera work to identify what kind of scenario issues in the sewer system that need to be corrected on the other side. Very good. Any other questions from council? If not, at this time, I'll entertain a motion. We approve the change order for the sewer point repair project as described. So move. Second. There's a motion in the second. Any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor, raise your hand. Motion carries unanimously. Thank you, Mr. Green. <coughs> Mr. Gilmore, is there anything to come before us under the other business supplemental agenda? No, sir. Thank you. Item 12, or council member class. Ms. Biden Grace? No, sir. Mr. Jones? No, sir. Mr. Walker? No, sir. No, sir. Mr. Jackson? No, sir. No, sir. Thank you. Mr. Gilmore? No, sir. Mr. Smith? No, sir. Mr. Hall? No, sir. Thank you. Item 13, the department heads or staff items. We'll start with the Department of Finance Administration. Ms. King? Nothing, sir. Department of Community Development. Mr. Hill. Nothing, sir. Thank you. Are you still aware of economic development? Yes, sir. From the Department of Economic Development, Mr. Smith. Nothing tonight, Mayor. <laughs> From the Department of Leisure Services, Mr. Dye. Nothing. Thank you. Police Department, Chief Lynn. Nothing from me. Thank you. Fire Emergency Services, Chief Parker. Nothing tonight, sir. Thank you. Mr. McMurray, do you have anything further? Nothing further. Thank you. Does our city clerk have anything this morning? Yes, sir. Thank you. Item 14 of general public items. Does any member of the general public wish to address council on any item at this time? Thank you. Item 15 of mayor items. 
just to remind the people we have this coming weekend on the 9th and 10th, the Peaches to Beaches event, which means there will be a ton of folks coming through town both days. Please be careful. Our next regularly scheduled work session will be on March the 19th at 5 o'clock in this room. And the next regularly scheduled pre-council meeting at 5 and council meeting at 6 on March the 20th. Also with City Hall. I would encourage your participation. Mr. Walker, will you address the Walker Mayor Council? Sure. Um, we will have the Walker Mayor and Council on March the 22nd. That'll be a Thursday rather than the last Tuesday in the month where we traditionally have the walk. Uh, we've been requested by the Perry Rotary Club to have a family walk at Rotary Centennial Park. It will start at 5.30 in the afternoon, and we encourage everyone to bring their family members to join the mayor and the council and members of the Perry Rotary Club to look at the new extension of the walkway that goes over to uh, Freakwood Park. So, weather permitting, we'll all meet down there at 5.30 and have a nice afternoon walking through different areas of Road Recent in that park. That sounds great. Thank you, sir. What's the date on that? 22nd? March 22nd. Thursday. Thursday, March 22nd. Thank you. At 5.30. Thank you. That's all I have. At this time, I will have a motion to go to the second session for the purpose of real estate. I have a motion to second. Any discussion? Bring that up and play with your hand. Motion carries unanimously. Thank you for your interest.